centre. Who? Who's me? Brilliant. Who's me? Excellent. I didn't talk last year. I felt a little bit, a bit left out. So uh, I thought I would, I would talk this year. Um, and I want to talk about. I want to talk about what uh, drives pupils. Now, um, uh, James Bunyard uh, over there, who started teaching with us, he lent me a book um, all called Drive uh, by a bloke called Mr. Pink, which is all about business uh, and what motivates people in business. Um, and and I know, as I read it, um, I actually thought that uh, a lot of lessons could be drawn from this for our classrooms. Um, so, just to think about what motivates you, what has motivated you to come here tonight? Uh, just put your hands up if you've come here tonight for money. Someone's paid you to come here. <laughs> surprise, surprise answers. Surprise answers. Uh, who, who has come here because they're, they're worried that they'll be punished if they don't? <laughs> you want to say um, who, who, uh, who has come here tonight because they feel they get, they'll get a well done from their boss, or a little sticker, or a reward, or something. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. That's all three so far. And, and who's come here tonight at, because they're they're just interested in what ideas people might have? Oh, that's the right answer. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm not mentioning that. I'm going to feed it nicely. What I'm about to say. Um, so, uh, so it is, is it? We 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 are motivated by what. We are interesting, and, and Henry Pink says that um, that actually, if we are interested in what we're doing, if we find it fascinating, then we like to do it and we enjoy doing it. And we don't want somebody else to tell us what we find fascinating or what we have to do. We want to find that out, you know, in some to, to some extent, by ourselves, don't we? we? Want autonomy in what we're doing. And we want to know why why it is we're doing this. You're all here because you want a better deal for your for your children back. Uh, in your classrooms, don't you? You know the purpose of it. And so you want to do that also because you want to get better at being a teacher, don't you? You want to reach that mastery level when that teacher says, uh, oh, sir, you've changed my life without you. I'd be nothing. You know, and that's what you're looking for, isn't it? You're working towards that mastery. So Henry Pink says, you know, business, as I think in schools, the more that we can give children autonomy and some purpose in what they're doing uh, and see how it is what they're doing will lead them to mastery will motivate them more. Um, there's a, a Hungarian psychologist who's something like... <laughs> uh, Google it. Um, uh, and he, he called this the idea of flow. Of, uh, I think I've talked about it before, about uh, when you're driving a car down a country road and you're quite relaxed, but it's a little bit tricky because you've got some bends to go around and you go around those bends well and oh, you just do it, it's all that's nice, like that. And you learn how to drive a bit better. And that's the ideal place to be if you want to do anything, if you want to learn, if you want to produce, if you want to develop skills, is to be in a state of flow. And there's even a computer game uh, made by an American undergraduate to try and simulate this idea of flow. It's called Flow. Uh, you can play it through a PC, uh, cheap download on PlayStation. Um, and, and it captures this idea of you know, are you full cool and motivated and um, you want to get it done. And it all comes down to the brain, doesn't it? We've got, we've got the, um, the brain cell over here wants to link up with another brain cell because that's when learning happens. And the dopamine um, carries those messages from one brain cell to another. Um, and when we're in the state of flow, when we go, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, I can do that now. A little bit of dopamine, a little squirt of dopamine, and those links can happen. A bit like in a car again, you know, a little squirt of petrol is into the engine, keeps those pistons going But what do we do in schools? From a very young age, don't we? From a very, very young age. Um, right, can you, can you say what word this is? K, A, T. Cat, brilliant, fantastic. You are the best speller there are these phonics. Have a sticker. Fantastic. Um, all right, oh, well done. You've managed to sit there. You've managed to sit still for half an hour. That's brilliant. Have a sticker. Um, all right, oh, you're in secondary school now. Oh, well done. You've uh, given three homeworks in. Have a sticker. All right, you're interested in stickers. I'll tell you what, if you write three paragraphs about Oliver Cromwell instead of two paragraphs, then you won't be a level 4B anymore. Well done, you're a level 4A. I'm a 4A, brilliant. And what's happening to those children is that, is that when they get each of these short-term awards, they're getting that squirt of dopamine. They're, they're getting a huge flood of it into their for not very much effort at all. 
Just like, just like uh, cocaine addicts take coke, get a huge flood of dopamine into their brain, but not much effort at all. Nicotine works the same way, a huge flood of dopamine, but not much effort at all. And as they go through the school, oh, you know, you're, you're a D now, but if you do this piece of work, if you include these 15 adjectives, you'll, get, you'll become a C3. I'm oh, a C3, brilliant. But they're never actually thinking about the work that they're doing. They're actually, never actually thinking about um, becoming interested <coughs> in the quality of, uh, of their knowledge that they're learning. So I would say, this is all about isn't it, taking ideas back to mind. If if the children in front of you tomorrow are, are working hard and are working well because they are intrinsically interested in what you're teaching, that is brilliant. And then reward them afterwards. Maybe I can ask them, don't tell them, just put it up on Sims. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. It's not there. It's, uh, you know, but they're, they're intrinsically excited by what you're studying. If you think, oh, I've got to do this thing tomorrow that's a bit dull, I'm going to have to pep them along by telling them what their target grade is, or... Um, or, by, um, or by giving them stickers. Then just don't teach them that. Teach them something that you find interesting and that they'll find interesting. And then they'll be <coughs> lifelong learners, won't they? They won't just be looking to find the next thing to get that next hit of dopamine. Right, thank you. Um, next, next, I hope you're still happy. Thank you very much. Um, we've got, uh, we've got my, my, my good friend and colleague, uh, Mr. O'Donnell.